Hey folks, what's going on? It's Matt Horowitz. I'm going to show you how to create a calendar called Bang It Out or anything like that. It's essentially a task-based calendar and you're going to use it as a to-do, like it's a to-do list hack essentially that I find much more efficient and productive than using Gmail or Google Calendar's little stupid to-do list. So the way that it works is I'll show you how to set up the calendar but for example, today, anything in green that you see on my calendar is a, is a reminder. Yellow things are like actually places I need to go. So I don't need to go places on these green things. I just need to do stuff. Um, so, and you can see if my calendar goes out, I got all these reminders to do different things. Oh, write out this because of like, you know, I, I know when my gym, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta clean my retainers, I have to email these people to remind them about something on the first, you know, all these to-dos that I have to do this is basically, if you've read David Allen's Getting Things Done, uh, this is the Tickler file, but it's a digital version of the Tickler file. So how it works is today, for example, a bunch of tasks popped up, and you can see here in, um, uh, in, in my email, I get them in email because that's kind of like my central kind of management thing. So you can see I actually got five things going on right here. So I'll show you one, for example, right? I got to check my Capital One 6612 card to make sure that the $100 cash back is available. Like something like this is a to-do that if I had it written down somewhere, it would just get in the way. It would be annoying, uh, but I can keep it here. Uh, so let's say that I logged into my account and I checked it and I didn't need to do this task right now. What I could actually do is I would hit more details and I would say, you know what, I'm actually, I can't do this today or it's not there yet or I got to double check on it. What I actually would do is I would just come here and I would say, hey, you know what, I will check on this next Saturday, the 22nd and I'll hit save. Boom, that's saved. Close the calendar, delete the email. I don't have to think about that for a whole entire another week versus leaving it on a to-do list where I constantly see it. So the way that we set it up is you go to Google Calendar. So hopefully that makes sense. That's kind of like the overview. Uh, in Google Calendar, uh, most cal if you one of these calendars by default, like if you have an appointment or something like that, it will probably send you like an email or like a text message or, or a pop-up on your computer 15 or 30 minutes before. Um, but the way to hack the, to, the to do calendar is, well, let's just set it up first. Let's go to click the gear, go to settings, uh, click calendars, uh, click create new uh, calendar name. I, I like the word bang it out just because like when I see it, this like, makes me want to get stuff done. But you could call it like to do or I, you know, any, whatever, whatever you want. So I'm going to call it bang it out. Just know that this is number two for me because I already have one. You don't need a description, don't need a location, uh, don't make it public. What else do we need to do here? Yeah, basically, okay, you don't do anything besides enter the name and hit create calendar. Okay, now that the calendar changes are saved, we go back to the gear, hit settings again, click on the calendars, find bang it out number two. On the right, uh, we're going to go and hit edit the notifications. So we have event notifications and all day notifications. What we want to do here is we want to click add a notification for the event. We want to go email one minute before, and then we hit save. What that means is when you go to, so let's go back to calendar. Uh, today is, what's today? Today's 10, 15. So let's say I need to actually pick up some tires from the car dealership on Tuesday. I'm going to go over to Tuesday. And I'm going to think, oh, you know, I want to get this email around 11 o'clock. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to say pick up tires uh, from Honda. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to hit bang it out, and I'm going to hit create the event. So that means on 10, 18, or 11 a.m., I'm going to get an email at that exact, you know, one minute before, essentially. I'm going to get an email right then that's going to say, hey, go pick up the tires. So you can really kind of put together your life in a really cool way, managing a lot of different to-dos. Uh, one thing I do, for example, is on the 14th and the 28th of the month, I check, I log in, and I pay and update all of my credit cards. So you can see on the right here, and the reason I do the 14th and the 28th is rather than the 30th or the 31st, which doesn't always exist in every single month, but the 28th does, uh, that's, you know, I manage my finances like that. So that's a task that I do every single month, and it's a repeating task, um, and that's something that's very important. So let's say you wanted to set up a repeating task. Let's say you needed to do something on the 21st of every single month, right? So I'm going to go over here and let's say, you know, log in and pay down and uh, or rather make payments uh, on all credit cards. I'm going to go bang it out number two. I'm going to hit edit the event though instead of create. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, repeat. I want to do this every single month. Repeat. 
monthly. Hit done, and now it says, hey, this repeats monthly on the 21. Click save, boom. Now, and if I jump over to November, I'll click on 21, you can see I got the reminder right here. So now every single month, I'm checking my finances on the 21st, and I don't have to think about it. I don't have to remember to do it, but I get an email for it. Um, let me show you another other, another other. <laughs> let me show you another cool little kind of creative use of this tool. So let's go to the 16th, which is tomorrow. Uh, let's say I need to do something that's a little bit more uh, complex. So let's say I got to, I'm just making this up. Let's say I got to call Susie about, uh, about the new washer and dryer that I need to get. So I'm gonna, and, and then in parentheses, I do this, see description, right? So this is, this is important. I'm gonna say see description. I'm gonna go bang it out number two. I'm gonna hit edit the event. So now this, this activity, buying a new washer and dryer, is a more complicated task because I'm still in the shopping uh, process. I still need to figure stuff out. So in the deep in the description box here, which you can just click this and you can make it really big, I can say, hey, on da -da -da, a little shortcut here, hey, on 1015, blah, 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 I spoke with like Gary at uh, I'm making at Home Depot and the um, uh, the V45 uh, GR washer is uh, $8.99. Uh, but if I have, uh, you know what I mean? Like something that's more complicated. I might be comparing different models or different things, or I might be like, you know what, his uh, his cell phone is, et cetera, et cetera. Um, things like that. I can put a ton of notes in here so that when I look at this task and I know that I have to call Susie, I can reference my notes here. And then I just hit boom, hit save, and I get it. So when I get that email, I'll actually be able to for example, um, uh, let's say I hear back from Airbnb. Make sure to remove my public threads email archive. I'm not, you know, here's even a, like a long task for me, something like that. But anyways, if uh, if you have a task that says see description, all you have to do is click the more details button. It'll open up a new tab, and you can see your description if one existed. This one doesn't have one. So that's how I use Google How Calendar for David Allen's getting things done. And uh, this has been a wicked tool. Uh, another cool use is that like when somebody, um, I called a, uh, a guy the other day, I was gonna buy this guy's website and he said he's not interested in selling until he retires. And I said, when are you retiring? He says, probably about six or seven years. I said, you know what, I'll send you an email. Seven years, what's your email address? He gave me his email address. So I went into Google Calendar, I went out seven years ahead of time and I put a reminder on there, you know, email this guy, blah, 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 and follow up from this conversation. And I put a link to the email. So it's wicked. Now that's an extreme example, but if somebody else uh, says like, hey, I can't do this right now, but you know what, let's touch base in, in three months. Boom, go to the calendar, put a reminder, it's out of your mind, you don't have to think about it, and it'll just show up in your email when the time is needed to address that. So that's the Google Calendar bang it out system. Hope this video is helpful for you. Hope you use it in your life and have massive, massive productivity. All right, enjoy.